In this video, we are doing a review of these, the Under Armour Machina 3. What's up everybody and welcome to 4D Runs and I present you with the Machina or the Makina. I've got absolutely no idea how to pronounce the name of this shoe correctly. Now just as a bit of a spoiler, this could be one of the worst shoes of 2022. So Under Armour um, apparently do make some good running shoes um, and I'm yet to find them. I know they've got like the flow or something it's called, but I'm yet to try that. Um, I know they uh, sponsor or, or um, get involved with certain runners on Instagram and sort of stuff and chuck them loads of stuff, which is fine, I've got a problem with that, but um, I know they do a lot of promotion through various channels. Uh, but it's not a brand that I've really got involved with. But I saw these cheap on Sports Direct and I thought, you know what? Let's give them a go. Now the shoe has changed significantly since the second version. They've got rid of the p backs plate in it. Um, they've done some work in the heel in terms of coverage to make it more stable. We've got a dual density foam, the hover foam. Uh, it's like a softer compound in the back and a firmer compound in the front to improve the ride. It's pitched as a um, high mileage shoe. So I'm guessing it's probably along the lines of your sort of, and this is a bad, bad, um, probably read across but like the Colum columbus or whatever it is cumulus from asics or like solar glide 5 from adidas something like that it's probably meant to go a little bit longer in terms of miles we've got um new upper uh, they've got rid of all like sort of overlays and rubbish that you didn't need on the shoe uh, we've got a gusseted tongue yeah we've got a gusseted tongue it's 110 pounds. Uh, it's about 140 on their website, but it's about 110 pounds. But I got it cheaper than that. I'm just checking the drop because I wrote it down somewhere. Eight mil drop. There we go. Um, it's got eight mil drop on it. And obviously with the um, your Under Armour shoes, it's got the Bluetooth technology, so it's linked up to Map My Run, so you can get all your coach runs and coach sessions and stuff while you're running along. Right. Okay. Let's weigh it. Um, 12 ounces. Um, uh, 340 grams wise anyway right we'll come on to that in a minute um where else do we say oh yeah i forgot the outsole so we've got like there's a major bit of rubber outsole here in terms of um coverage in fairness to it it's good grip on this shoe that's one sort of compliment i would give the shoe apart from sort of map my run bit which you can connect up blah 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 i think that's the map my run you know um under armor map my run app does a good purpose for some runners um, and the fact that it's all linked up is great so if you're really into that good news um, the, and the outsole is probably another good feature but that that's probably about it in terms of good news this is without doubt one of the uh, most overpriced uh, useless uh, running shoes that I've been in for a while there's um, nothing here that you need to uh, buy it's it's heavy it's dull it's hot uh, 140 pounds it's overpriced it's nothing exciting the shoe it, it just it does nothing for you i i don't know why you would buy this versus like a 1080 version 12 or um what else have i got oh a reebok 47 quid um there's there's just absolutely nothing here. i know it's like a, a high mileage shoe but spend the same money and get a like glide ride three it's just I don't get it with you, uh, Under Armour. I don't get it. With their resource, I don't understand why they're not making really, really awesome daily trainers. Now, again, I don't know about the Flow Series shoes. I've not tried them, so I'm not deliberately going after them. But in terms of daily trainers, I'm not seeing anything for Under Armour. Let me know in the comments if there is a good shoe that warrants the sort of, I, I don't know, us runners to look at them. Because this, 12 ounces, £140, I, I just... I don't get it. 
Right, so bottom line, if you're a big fan of Under Armour, yeah, it'll do the job. This will probably do very well, right, in the gym. If you're on a treadmill in the gym, this is probably where you could get away with it if you're a massive, massive fan of Under Armour and you want that connection up to map my run. But why not just get the app on your phone and do it all via your phone? There's no reason to spend £140 on this. Absolutely not. Um, if you do spend £140 on it, just think to yourself what else you could have done with that money.